Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rajesh Ukala, Consultant Physician at Medicaver Hospitals, Bekampet, Hyderabad. Um, today's topic is how do we control belly fat and what diet and precautions should we take, why we should avoid belly fat. So again, here the most important thing here is obesity is one of the major components in the medical health system that we come across. And obesity is directly related to the metabolic syndrome we get to see. And when you say metabolic syndrome, that is related to diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, heart disease, and brain disease, kidney disease. So these are very common things that we come across in any hospital scenario. But unfortunately, because there is an increased incidence of obesity and diabetes in the country, we tend to see more younger people developing obesity. And as a result, obesity is causing catastrophic diseases in the body in different malfunctioning of the organs. So if you were to quantify and kind of control this kind of problems, you first have to understand how do we measure obesity. So we all understand that body mass index gives you an inference of how you are going to be regulating your body weight as per your height requirement. So on that account, body mass index, which is ideal for any person, should be around 22 to 23. That is the level you should maintain and body mass index can be calculated very easily by using internet calculator. Very simple thing is that you need a weight and height of that particular person, put it into the computer, you will get it in the calculator available on Google. The second thing is that when you want to measure obesity at a different level, as in why you are having obesity, why is it called uh, fat obesity, you have to measure your waistline. Your waistline is something which is above the hip bones. If you measure with a tape above the hip bones and if it is less than 36 in a male person that is considered to be non-obese. Similarly, uh, women should have less than 32 inches. The same level that we are talking about in men. Again, there is something called waist to hip ratio and that ratio should be in men greater than 0.9 in women it should be 0.85 so this is the ratio that you should maintain to have a healthy lifestyle so how do we avoid this obesity how do we avoid this fatness it's very important because it prevents all length of medical problems that we get to see in our clinical practice the importance of maintaining weight is by maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So the way you sleep, the way you conduct your day-to-day -day activities and the way you eat, the way you exercise counts for this. So a sleeping pattern should be somewhere around 10 to morning 6 o'clock and that should cover about 8 hours. Again, your breakfast should happen by 8 o'clock and it should not contain any fatty processed oily foods. Your lunch should happen at 1 o'clock and your dinner should happen before 8 o'clock in the night. The highest amount of consumption of calories should be in the breakfast time. The least amount of consumption of calories should be at dinner time. And again, the composition of food should always have high amount of vegetable fiber sources, less amount of starchy food, less, uh, uh, sorry, lean protein and minimal amount of oily fatty acids in the oily fatty acids always prefer vegetable source of oil and again in in preference of that you should contain more of polyunsaturated fatty acids or unsaturated fatty acids which are normally given through nuts and uh, vegetable seeds so all these are very important in maintaining ideal weight and avoiding obesity and also you have to do a regular exercise. A regular exercise would mean everyday exercise covering, covering three kilometers in 30 minutes and keep yourself active. By managing this, you'll be able to maintain obesity. I mean, avoiding obesity and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Thank you.